Well, I am just going to dive right in. I am so glad you are here this afternoon. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Rebecca Sofer. I am the co-founder of Modern Loss, which is a publication, an online publication, and on and offline community. Um, we are on all the social media platforms, and our sole mission is to help people move through the long arc of loss and grief in a communal way, in a way that promotes storytelling, in a way that promotes candidness and bodiness and laughter and resilience amongst the ugly cries because we know there's a lot of those too but there's also a lot of life left after you lose somebody and so we exist to give you an ongoing touch point to connect with people who get it and read stories from others who get it and give you the chance to share your narrative and own it along the way because you know for us grief is kind of <laughs> one of the only universal things that we have left that pulls us all together and uh, we think that by doing this work we can really bring people together as Pollyannish as that sounds and so I'm so glad um, we offer a lot of sessions like these. Um, I am just going to paste something in here quickly so that you can look at it whenever you have time. Um, we have many members um, who support our work for just a couple dollars a month on a platform called Patreon. If you become a member, you get access to a closed peer-to-peer -peer Facebook group. You get access to all these ongoing virtual sessions. Today's is free because we really wanted to offer um, something to the broader community. Uh, we have yoga for grief support coming up this weekend, which we're doing every month. We have sessions with therapists, with authors, with so many amazing people who write about loss and resilience and you know all the things that come in between those two. And so I hope that you would consider supporting us if you find value in this session. I just um, shared the link in the chat. Uh, however, we're not here for that today. We are here to take a beat and I'm so glad that you are. And I'm so grateful to our leader today, Annie Pearson, who jumped at the chance of helping everybody just exhale for a few minutes in the middle of the day. Annie is the founder of Empowered Purpose, a mindfulness-based wellness coaching company dedicated to empowering positive action through personal agency. She's a certified mindful change coach, a yoga teacher, a mindfulness instructor, and I know this for a fact, she is known for her empathy and her calming presence. And all of those words sound like things that I want to crawl up in a ball and cover myself with today. And so without further ado, I'm going to pass the floor to Annie. And at the end, um, please feel free uh, to submit any questions that you have about the practice uh, in the chat fun functionality, it's at the bottom. Um, and I will be fielding a couple questions at the, at the very end of this session. But Annie, it is all you. Take it away and thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Thanks, Rebecca. And thank you all for being here. Um, it is truly an honor to share this time with you. Um, I just want to say, so I did my mindfulness training and um, I started out by teaching children. And so a lot of what I do is informed by um, making this practice accessible to everyone at all levels and making it kind of fun and not, not too scary. Um, so, uh, you know, if, if my kindergartners can do it, I think um, anybody <laughs> can, right? So thank you for joining. And um, a couple of other things I just wanna share right away is everything that um, we'll be doing together today will be by invitation. So at any time, if something doesn't resonate with you, doesn't feel good to you, there's no obligation to do it. Um, do what makes sense, listen to your body and honor that. Um, at, at all times, okay. And um, so with that, we'll get started. We're gonna have, um, there's three, three different pieces today. We'll start with some dynamic movement. And that is connecting a little bit of movement with breathing, conscious breath. That's gonna be connecting our bodies and our minds together, sort of balancing our energies there. Um, we will um, go into some mindfulness, We'll do a meditation and then I'll um, go through some mindfulness tools that you can use 
whenever, whenever the need strikes you. And, um, and I'm happy to go through the instructions for that when we get there. So we'll begin with some movement. So just wherever you are, if you're sitting, if you're standing, just sort of move your body however you feel you need to right now, just to like shake out. I know today's a crazy day for many of us. We've got a lot of stuff, right? A lot of energy sort of sitting in our bodies. And so just whatever you need right now. And then we'll move into some movement together and we'll start with our hands. And so if it feels good to you, we're just gonna stretch our fingers. Okay, just inviting some movement here. And then this is called sun breath. So we're gonna just open our hands and breathe in. And then close and make a nice tight fist as you breathe out. Breathe in, open your hands and breathe out and close, yeah? We'll do two more of these at your own pace. And breathe out. And one more, breathe in. And breathe out, close and shake it out. Good. Now, many, many of us carry a lot of our tension in our neck, our shoulders, upper back area. And so we're gonna do a little bit of movement here. Please only go as, as far as feels comfortable to you and your body. Um, so we're gonna start by moving our chin towards our shoulders, right? So one at a time, you might feel a little tension in your neck. Good, and then come center. And then the other side. Again, finding where that edge is before it hurts, all right? And if you get to the place where it hurts, just ease off a little. So when we come back to the center, we'll breathe in and then breathe out, turn. Breathe in, center. And breathe out, turn to the other side. Breathing in, center. Breathing out, turn. Breathing in center and breathing out to the side. And coming back to the center, allowing your breath to find its natural pace before we move into our next exercise. We're gonna be taking our ear now sideways to the shoulder. Kind of like you're listening to your shoulder and then center, and then ear to shoulder, and center. Good, now adding in the breath, breathing in. Breathe out, ear to shoulder. Breathing in, center. Breathing out, towards your shoulder. Breathing in, center. Breathing out to the side. And breathing in center. And breathing out to the side. Again, returning. Find the natural alignment of your spine. And now we'll take our chin towards our chest. And then center and then lift your chin up to the sky. Good, and then center. Again, go as slowly or as good as feels, feels good to you. So we'll breathing in at center and then exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, center. Exhale, looking up. Inhale, center. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, center. Exhale, looking up. All right, returning. 
to center. We'll do a couple of shoulder rolls here. So your shoulders will come all the way up to your ears. You may find when you're stressed out, they're here anyway. So let's go ahead and exaggerate that, mo that movement and then exaggerate the release. Good. And now we'll inhale as the shoulders come up. Exhale, release it down. Inhale. And exhale, nice, big, exaggerated movements. Inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, release it down. Good. And just we'll just reverse that a couple times. So see if you can go backwards and up forwards and down. Nice, oh, I wish you could see yourselves, you're so beautiful. Nice, all right, good. And then release it down. And we'll do one more side stretch here, sitting down wherever you are. So if you're in a seat, you're just gonna take one arm, reach it up towards the sky and then gently bend to the side. I can stay like this all day. It feels so good. Oh, good. Reach it back and then switch arms. Reach all the way up and to the side. Good. And it doesn't have to be big. Just enough for you to feel the opening of this side of your body, right? And now we'll add in the breath. So breathing in, arms come up. And breathing out, reach to the side. Beautiful, breathing in, arms come up. And out to the side. Let's do two more like this, breathing in. Breathing out. And breathing in and up. And release, release it all out. Just taking a moment here now to just notice how you feel. Notice if you can feel your heart beating and what that feels like if it's any faster or slower than it was before. And wherever you are, we're gonna move into a gentle meditation. If it feels good to you, I invite you to close your eyes or maybe lower your lids. Whatever feels good to you right here in this moment. And your hands can be placed on your lap if that feels good. Or maybe you can put your hands over your heart on your chest if that feels good. And just hold yourself for a moment. Mindfulness is intentionally focused awareness of your immediate experience. And so right now, right here, we're focusing on this moment, on you being here and present So now we're just gonna notice the quality of our breath. Notice what your body's asking of you. Does it want your breath to be faster or slower?
Is your breath shallow or deep? And can you just notice without any judgment? This is how it is right now. Not wishing for it to change or be different. Just noticing. Notice if you've got thought circulating and just acknowledge them and release them. There'll always be time for that later. Right now we're just focusing on taking in the beautiful breath. Nourishing oxygen that's being carried to all the cells in our bodies. And notice if you're holding any tension. And see if you can invite a softening. Maybe you're clenching your jaw or your shoulders are tight. And just see if you can breathe in. Breathe in some lightness. Whatever it is that you need most right now. Breathe that in. Maybe it's compassion for yourself or for others. Maybe it's patience or forgiveness. Whatever it is that you need, just breathe it in. And then exhale anything that you'd like to let go of. Anything that is not serving your highest good right now, let your exhale just carry it away. We'll spend another minute here in the present moment, noticing the breath, notice what it feels like for the air to come in through your nose. Is it cool? more warm. Notice any sounds you hear in your environment. All without judgment or wanting for something to be different. Just being here and noticing the present moment. Allowing the chair beneath you or the ground beneath you to hold you and support you. And allowing the energy of all of us who are here together to hold and support you. Breathing in anything you need breathing out whatever you'd like to let go. And 
And when you're ready, you can release your hands. And let your breath return to its natural pace. And know that in just a moment, we'll be returning to the group and to our physical bodies. But that everything you took in will still be with you. As you're ready, you can maybe start to touch your fingers, rub your hands together. Gently wake up your body and allow some light in, fluttering open your eyes. <sighs> okay, welcome back. How is everyone feeling? Okay, good, thumbs up, good. Okay, so we're, I'm just gonna go through um, a quick um, mindfulness tool that you can use um, at any time that feels right to you. And so it just is um, using your hands. Um, I would have mine on my lap, but you wouldn't see them. So I have them raised a little higher. And so you take your pointer finger and your thumb and you bring it together. And then you release and then bring your middle finger and thumb together release your ring finger and thumb together, release and your pinky and thumb together and release. Okay, got it? So then we're just gonna add a quick little mantra or phrase, whatever makes sense to you. So I like to say, I feel peaceful, but you can say anything that makes sense to you. So I'll just show you what I feel peaceful looks like. I feel peace. I feel peaceful. So if you want, you can make up something else like I totally have this or I've got, well, whatever. You come up with something that makes sense for you that's got the rhythm or the pattern of words that, that make sense for you, but you've got the tactile touch of your fingers. Your brain is activated because you're paying attention to which fingers are touching. And then you're repeating the phrase that resonates with you over and over again. I feel peaceful. I can do this, okay? So that is a tool I have for you. If you have any questions, um, please let me know. And I am available um, after this. I think Rebecca's gonna put my website um, in the chat. So if you have questions or you wanna reach out, I'm totally here and available for you. So thank you for oh. joining me in this practice.